So Devin, I think it would be worthwhile spending a few minutes talking about supervision given that it's a pretty unique aspect of our genetic counseling program. I agree. Um, when I first applied for the program, I didn't know what clinical supervision was, mm -hmm. but after going to the interviews, it was something that really drew me to the program. Mm -hmm. um, it does require an openness from students to be self-critical, but at the same time, um, it's really one of the most beneficial elements of our training experience. Mm -hmm. And I think it's consistent with our psychotherapeutic model of mm -hmm. counseling that we teach. So what we're talking about here is meeting with faculty one-on-one -on -one for an hour a week and reviewing our cases. Um, and in reference to long-term counseling goals that mm -hmm. the students develop for themselves. And so um, it's very similar to what's done in clinical psychology graduate programs, mm -hmm. but um, we've just imported that into a genetic counseling program. And I think that allows us to build on the work that clinical supervisors do with the students in rotation that's specific to the client, and these are more long-term sort of goal-directed work. Yeah, I totally agree. And like you said, we meet with our faculty members um, one hour a week and uh, review our audio recordings from our clinical work. And although it can be intimidating to hear yourself mm -hmm. on tape um, at first, uh, you, this becomes really routine and it's just so beneficial in the long term. Um, and like you said, it, the supervision approach helps us build our long-term goals mm -hmm. um, and helps us identify insights that we might not be aware of, such as our assumptions and our biases and our countertransferences that, we, uh, that affect our work. Yep, I agree, and I'm glad you mentioned that the students are open, that it requires an openness, because our students, I think, once they get here and they understand fully what, um, what goes on in supervision, they're really invested in the process and they develop their own self-critical um, skills mm -hmm. and uh, critical thinking, and I think they reinforce why we think it's such an essential part of our program. Absolutely, and I can't imagine what my clinical work would be like without having clinical supervision. Mm -hmm.